and welcome to the Best Buy vlog. My name is Ray, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Red Road G10 Robot Vacuum and Self Cleaning Mop. If you love the feeling of walking on scrubbed clean floors, then a mopping robot vacuum might be your next floor to purchase. The Red Road G10 is a self cleaning robot vacuum that vacuums, mops, and even washes and dries its own mopping pads for you. In its box, you'll find the vacuum mop itself, a charging and docking station, two mopping pads, one pre attached to the vacuum. Uh, two side cleaning brushes, again, one pre-attached, an instruction manual, a little cleaning tool that's super handy to use, and a power cord. Inside the vacuum, there's a removable dustbin and vacuum roller. Inside the docking station, there are two removable water tanks. One is for clean water on the left, that clear one, and one is for dirty water, the dark one. The G10 is a vacuum and mop with two separate functions that kind of work in practice simultaneously. First, there's the vacuuming half, this is a very quiet, light lift vacuum with a brushless motor. The vacuum portion of this robot cleaner runs at a standard 1000 pascals, but has settings for 600 pascals on eco mode, which is very, very quiet, um, 2000 pascals on medium, and 2800 pascals on boost mode. The vacuum cleans into a little tray or a dustbin with a 450 milliliter capacity. Next, there's the mop. This robot cleaner uses vibrational technology rather than spinning mop pads, and the pad vibrates up to 3,000 times per minute to help scrub messes off of your floors. Instead of putting a water compartment in the robot cleaner, Red Road has opted to store all of your water in the docking station. This station does triple duty as a charging dock, a cleaner, and a dryer. On soft surfaces, the G10 lifts its mopping pad and uses only its vacuum, so things like rugs don't get wet. The G10 has a 4.5 liter water capacity in its charging base, a standard life of 170 minutes per vacuum charge, and up to 240 minutes of runtime on eco mode. It features a 5200 milliamp battery and operates at a level of sorry 72 decibels or less. What's really great about this docking station is that it really meticulously washes and soaks your cleaning pads before, after, and during every mopping session. So. Despite the fact that I turned it on, you could see that it was in its charging base for some time there, and it'll actually stay in there for, I think I measured up to five minutes for each clean. And that's because it's making sure your mopping pad is like sparkling clean before it hits the floor. It's preventing anything like mildew or old debris from getting onto your clean floors before it does its job. Every time the G10 cleans, it uses a process that Red Road refers to as electrolytic water deep sterilization, and that's how it's washing and rinsing the pads with a small amount of water, but still getting them very clean. Um, I noticed that when I empty my dirty water tank after every session, the amount of water that's gone in is quite low, but the water itself is really dark, like it's filthy. It's way grosser than I want to think of my home being. <laughs> The Red Road app is easy to use, but what I'm super pleased with is this vacuum's navigational technology. The G10 takes about 50 minutes to fully mop my home, which seems long until you factor in that that includes the time that it's washing and drying those pads, both at the start and during the clean. So the actual cleaning time is much lower than that, and if you only turn on the vacuuming, it is still much lower than that. Um, this vacuum uses LDS laser navigation. You might also see this referred to as laser navigation or LIDAR, um, and Red Road, I don't know, like they've done a really great job of it. This vacuum mapped my entire home in six minutes. I've never used a robot cleaning product that is mapped so accurately, so quickly. Um, comparatively, I've had products take an hour to fully map my home, and then it's gotta go back and do the cleaning session after that as well. So six minutes is very impressive and the fact that it's doing it without cameras, which means that you have a lot more privacy in your home, is stellar. Overall, I was very pleased with this self-cleaning robot vacuum and mop. It's very convenient. I love that I can mop my place without having to wash anything. I actually really hate the process of mopping, but I love the effect. So something like this is great. Um, the G10 handles different floor surfaces really well. Um, it never gets my rug wet. It climbs up small um, inclines in my home, like the transition from vinyl plank to tile really easily and it performs well on many different surfaces. That being said, this isn't a deep cleaning tool. It's great for daily maintenance, but you'll still need to do a deep clean with like a powerful vacuum or something like that at the end of the week. 
It leaves your floors feeling smooth and clean overall, but I do notice after I use the G10, even on its most powerful settings, that I will still have a little bit of like cat hair collected around the corners, um, larger piece of debris that left behind, things like that. For more on the Red Road G10, make sure to check out my full review at the Best Buy blog. I really enjoyed this vacuum, and I think that it's a great value for the money, so I hope you do check out that review. Thanks so much for watching.